So in today's show, you might not like what I'm gonna say. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, if you do have anything to say, if you can resonate with this, if you can be honest and open up, do so below. Let's stop the lurking, get involved. So we're six miles in. Shit, I didn't stop my topper, my uh, timer. So we're gonna make this a quick one. 90% of the time, you are gonna be unmotivated. 90% of your day-to-day time and energy you are gonna be fucking unmotivated. Unmotivated to train, unmotivated to get up, unmotivated to produce at work, unmotivated to go to work. But it's not the same scenario for everybody. And I wanna talk about what the gap is between those that fucking talk a good game, but do fuck all and moan and complain, and those that do fucking show up and turn up and make their lives as good as possible. So. I'm sure that all of you have at some time along the way felt happy or angry or jealous. And that has been triggered by external factors like watching your kids play, making you happy. Watching your missus talk to another guy, you don't know who he is. Or seeing someone else's success, creating jealousy. Being angry, watching something that makes you angry. Seeing someone that makes you angry. All emotions that in some respects, some way, shape or form, give you some form of rocket fuel. Well, motivation is no fucking different. Motivation is something that you will feel temporarily, it will come and it will go, and it will be triggered by watching something, by listening to something, hearing a story. But just like all the other fucking emotions that we go through, they're temporary. They're not sustainable, they're not consistent. So you cannot base your fucking life in trying to change on motivation. And when I see people saying, I'm just not motivated, as they're fucking dripping and moaning about their life, of course you're not fucking motivated. We're not motivated 9% of the time. So what's missing between the people that are talking a good game and fucking moping around in their fucking excuses and bullshit, or the people that are fucking showing up? You don't have a mission in life. How can you possibly expect to get up in the morning to do your workouts, to improve your relationships, to find a better job, to build your business? If you have no mission, you've got no values, no principles, no character to be able to show up. Did I wanna get up at 4.15 this morning? Did I fuck? Am I motivated to do this run? Am I fuck? My bed was fucking warm this morning. I don't want to get up. My body's fucking killing from football training last night. I'm fucking exhausted. It's snowing when I looked outside. The last thing I want to do is leave my house at half past four and go for a fucking run. I'm not motivated to do that. But I am on a mission. I do have a 50 miler, a 100 miler to run next year. Possibly an Ironman. I do have a business to run. I do have clients to lead and show the example. I am on a fucking mission in life to fucking live to the absolute max. What gets me out of bed at fucking 4.15 when I don't want to is the fucking mission. The run here is not a success. I'm not gonna pat myself on the back when I get home and say fucking that's it, it's done. Because it's just one micro, one percenter to moving forwards in the direction that I wanna go. At no point and whatsoever since I've been running this morning do I feel like fucking hell I'm motivated to go. I will get inklings of motivation that will come along and fucking inspire me to start a brand new business idea. Or I have a a burst of motivation when I feel like I'm progressing and I review or I hit a milestone. If you do not have a mission, Don't expect to have consistent change. And when we start seeing it all in about a month now, new year, new me, and you wonder why you're fucking flaking after one week, it's because you have no mission. You cannot rely on motivation to get you through. You cannot rely on fucking motivation to pull you out of bed. 
and change your life. And if you're doing it, you're on a quick fix to fucking falling down. Up and down, up and down, roller coaster. Quit the fucking bullshit with motivation. I am sick and fucking tired of that word. You need a reason to show up. You need something that is going to connect you emotionally, passionately. It's going to give you desire and drive when you don't feel like it. That's what we need to do. You need to find that connection. And oh, I don't know how to find my mission. Find your mission by fucking showing up. I'm not grumpy. I'm not fucking grumpy at all. I'm just telling it as it is. Because most of you are fucking moaning and complaining and listening and coming in, but you're not doing anything about it and you're blaming motivation. This is just hard up facts, guys. You've got to find that passion and desire in your life again. Motivation is temporary but you've got to find an underlying reason to be able to show up and make the difference in your life. Otherwise, what's the alternative? Keep doing what you're doing, keep piling on the weight, fucking you keep pissing your wife off, she's gonna leave you. You keep pissing not around at your job, you're gonna lose your job. Ask yourself what the alternative is to not showing up consistently, forever, at least 1% one, 1 a day. Because most of you are in this fucking hamster wheel of doom in denial that anything's wrong. Bit of tough love for Friday. Have a good weekend.